Hi there, Tim from k -On here. We're talking about nut certs or rive nuts, uh, what they are, how to set them properly and some tools you might want to use to do it. So what is a nut cert? A nut cert is a way of uh, creating a thread in sheet metal. We use it in some of our products and it's a really handy thing to have when installing uh, accessories to your vehicle even. So here we have a nut cert, two M6 nut certs actually, one that hasn't been set and one that has been set. You can see that around the ribbed area, it's a little bit thinner. So when you pull on this thread, the threaded portion on the bottom, pull up, it collapses and flares out and grips onto the hole. So really clever design. So to be able to do this, we need to have a tool to set the nutsert. Before we look at the tools, uh, I just wanted to show you what uh, a properly set nutsert looks like from the back, because generally you'll only see it from the front. So here is the hole that you need to put the nutsert in. So it sits in like that. You'll set the nutsert and it'll look like that once you're done. But more importantly, on the back, you can see that when the nutsert has been set, it flares and grips onto the hole. So that's a properly set nutsert. I just wanted to show you a few ways to set the nutserts from really simple uh, being a bolt and a nut all the way to um, a, sort of a rivet style tool and you can even get the more commercial ones but I'll just talk about ones that probably are available to your DIYers. So this tool here, it's not really a tool, it's, it's a bolt and a nut and that is something that we include in some of our kits. This is only really good for setting a, a few nutserts at a time. This is a, a more fancier version of the bolt and the nut where it has a thrust washer on the top, uh, allows you to set the nut certs much more reliably and you can do uh, say 20 or 30 without a problem. Uh, this one here is then again a progression of, of that tool where it's very similar but you can actually put a cordless drill in the back and it's got a nice handle so you don't have to hold a, an open spanner to, to set the nut cert. And we've got this one here. This one here, I would not recommend. This is more like a pop rivet style. And when you pull on it, it pulls the thread back. But what it means is you need a fair bit of force to set the nut certs properly. And it's very inconsistent. So I wouldn't recommend this style of nut cert uh, tool. And then there's other versions of the nut cert tool. But today we're gonna to show you how to do it on the more simpler tools here. Okay, we're gonna set this nut cert with this tool today. So I'll explain how this works. We've got the M6 bolt. We've got the M8 serrated nut. We place it on this direction so that we have the serrations up against the nut set. And the way it works is we'll hold this nut in place and we will rotate this bolt and this will pull the thread and set the nut set. Now, a little tip, put a little bit of lubrication between the nut and the head of the socket head cap screw that allows that to rotate a little bit more easily. Now, what I also like to do, is I like to make sure I use a ring spanner, gives you more stability. And with the Allen head tool, I like to just make sure that it's setting properly. See there? There's a little tiny bulge there and the nut set's not rotating. So I know this is gonna work. Place it in the hole and then continue to rotate the M6 bolt and you can see it pulling up. And you wanna tighten it until it feels nice and snug and tight. And with this one here, we can actually have a look on the back and check that it's set properly. So almost there, just a little bit more. Not much more, here we go. Okay, that's about it. Now, just undo it all. Oops. So, I'll just take that all apart. And there you go. We'll now set a nut cert with this tool, which is a fancier version of what we've just done with the nut and bolt. This tool has a thrust bearing, which makes it um, much less effort to actually pull and set the nut cert. So we'll do the same thing. We'll put the nut set on the tool, wind it right up. With this one here, it's designed to grip that nut set really well, so we don't need to preset it. Place it in the hole. Actually, I need to grab my ring spanner. Place it in the hole. And you'll find that this tool here, because of that bearing there, so much easier to actually tighten and pull the nut set home. 
I'll just tighten this up until I feel that it's nice and firm. Okay, let's have a look. Looking good, thinking a little bit more. Okay, that one's set. Then we back it off. And just remove the tool. And there you go. Nut cert set. So there you go. That's how you install a riv nut or a nut cert. Really handy way of putting a thread into a thin sheet metal. Uh, really handy for modifying your vehicle or installing some of our products.